Hey, what's up guys? It's Derek from the Baseball Channel coming at you again today with yet another video. I know it's been a while. Um, I've been making the Maryland baseball videos, but college baseball season is canceled. So now I'm going to do something kind of more like what I used to do when I was in high school and I was playing baseball, and that is a glove video. But it's not going to be your ordinary glove video because I'm on quarantine, so I'm doing whatever I can do to keep myself from being bored, so I've been playing baseball. So yesterday, I was hitting, I was fielding, I recorded a bunch of it, I was going to make a glove update. But my camera died, so I don't have all of it. Um, I fielded a lot more than I have to show. I might field and film some more today. We'll see how that turns out. But I wanna to talk to you about this 44 Pro. If you remember this, awesome. We just hit 15,000 subscribers, thank you guys. I haven't talked about this since we were probably at like eight or 9,000. So a lot of new people, um, if you don't remember the unboxing, this is a 44 Pro custom glove. Um, black and white, black mesh on the back, custom two-tone web. This is Carolina blue. I believe now they have more like a tropical blue on there. I'm not exactly sure what they call it. But basically, I bought this glove with no use for it, so I didn't use it for like a solid year. And now during quarantine, I've started using it and I'm starting to get a feel for it. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I think about it so you guys can know, are these worth buying or not? Now this glove, I've probably only used uh, 10 times, 15 times, eight times. I don't exactly know, but I haven't used it a whole lot. Um, and it's starting to break in pretty well. It's actually, it came super stiff, but I've actually been pleasantly surprised at how quickly it started getting to a point where I can close it. I can catch the ball. If it's a backhand ground ball, it'll stick. If it's up the forehand, I can go with one hand comfortably and know the ball is going to stay, which is pretty awesome. The shape of it, I really like. Um, good, strong fingers. Um, despite the mesh, I'm not sure how that would be a year from now with constant use, but pretty good. Um, I do like this, the depth of the pocket and the width a lot with this 574 pattern that they have. Now, one comment that I will make is the blue on the palm seems to show a lot of wear really quickly. Maybe that's why they darkened up that blue in general, but with just minimal use, it's already showing signs that it might start chipping away. So I'm not really thrilled about that. We'll, I'll have to keep that updated and I'll do a review down the road where I can actually you know, show you exactly what it is as it wears more and more. Okay, next, just the overall feel of this glove, I'll say is kind of eh. The thumb insert might be the stiffest, most uncomfortable insert I've ever felt. The more you wear it, the more it's gonna adjust, but it's just a stiff leather. It's very snug for no real reason, and that's not all that great. The general palm liner is okay. The palm itself is fairly thin, so the ball kind of stings a little bit. The feel, the comfort, it's okay. And uh, that's my biggest gripe with this glove is just when you put your hand in it, it doesn't feel amazing. Now, if you used it for a year and it's broken in, um, it's your gamer, at that point, maybe it would be really comfortable, but just right now, not using it that much, it's definitely not there yet. Just overall leather quality, I think is actually really good. This palm is buttery smooth. Obviously the whole back of my glove is mesh, so there's no leather there, but all the leather on this glove actually feels really good. And for what you're paying for, I think this is a great option. All right guys, so I just wanted to talk to you a little bit more about it, give you a bit of an update. I'll show you a ball in the pocket. It's fairly deep, it closes decently well, the ball sticks, like I said. That I really like. I think this glove looks awesome. I'm glad to be able to be finally using it and talk to you guys about it. I haven't done gloves in so long that this is just a nice little refresh. Something different to do, fill up my quarantine, give you guys something to watch. I know so many people are always wondering about 44s and I've been getting questions about this glove since I made the unboxing. And for the price, it's hard to imagine that this could be as good as Rawlings or Wilson. And I, I think the biggest thing is it's not quite there but for $150, $180, you know, they run these 20% sales every single minor holiday. It's just a great buy. And for someone who's not looking to spend two, three, four, five hundred $500 for a custom glove, it's a very good option. It's good leather. Um, it's not gonna blow your socks off, but for what you're paying, it's a very, very good choice. Okay, now that you guys have seen that, if I recorded more fielding footage, I'm gonna play that now. If I did not record more fielding footage, which is also possible, I'm just gonna go straight to hitting and let's get into that. 
All right, guys, so right now I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna start off off the tee, then do front toss, then get some overhand. I'm gonna show you guys each step along the way, show you guys what I'm doing. Just real quick, I'm gonna be swinging a couple bats first. Just got this like Easton Mako wood bat. It's not really anything special. And then for my metal bat, I just have this 33 inch Rawlings Velo. Um, this is last year's model, um, really like this one a lot. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching and also thanks to all of you who are subscribed for 15,000 subscribers. Really awesome, Mark. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, I encourage you to do that right down below. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and play ball. This is the Baseball Channel.